Okay, so we are looking at odd problems in section 15.4 between 11 and 15. I've got videos up already for number 11. I've got a video up for number 13. What we need to do now is look at number 15. What these questions are asking us is they are describing a graph and we have to tell them if it's a tree. And our choices are yes, definitely a tree, no, definitely not a tree, or maybe it could be a tree, but we're not sure depending on the way that they describe it. So we have here uh, number 11 we determined. Yes, that definitely has to be a tree. Uh, number 13 we determined could not be a tree. There was no way that the graph that they were describing could possibly be a tree. So let's go ahead and take a look at number 15. And number 15, what they are asking us or what they are describing to us, number 15 is a graph that has five vertices and four edges. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this sounds an awful lot like uh, the graph that we drew in number 11. We did draw one in number 11 that was definitely a tree. So again, what are the rules for determining if it's a tree? Is it a tree? Is it a tree? Has to be connected. Connected. And there can be no circuits. And again, I can't spell circuits. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D, E. My five vertices. And now I can draw four edges. Okay, so if I'm drawing four edges, we could do what we did before. We went A to B, B to C. I'll go ahead and draw it in with pencil. Okay, is that a tree? Yes, it's a tree. It's connected and there are no circuits. But is there any other way that I could draw those four edges? Okay, well, let's see. Um, what if I did one, two, three, four. There is a graph that has five vertices and four edges. It has a circuit, this A, B, C, A is a circuit, and it's also not connected. I've got E hanging out here all by itself. It's not connected to the rest of the graph. So, with that description, I could either draw that path that I drew for number 11. Let me pull up number 11 here again really quickly. Number 11, there is a graph with five vertices and four edges that is a tree. Here, I have a graph with five vertices and four edges that is not a tree. So the answer here is three. It might be a tree. It might not be a tree. The graph that they're describing could go either way. So that's what they're asking for here. And I strongly encourage you to play around with uh, number 12, 14, and 16. Draw some pictures. Try out a few things. Make sure, that, uh, make sure that you explore options. Because if I had looked at number 15 that says a graph with five vertices and four edges, I would have thought, hey, I drew that for number 11. That was a tree. It's got to be a tree. But I had to play around with it a little bit to see that it's not necessarily going to be a tree.